developing this morning. The man to the right of your screen right here is accused of hitting and killing a Waltham police officer and a national grid worker yesterday afternoon. This is Peter Simon. He just appeared in court for the first time just moments ago. You can see he had several cuts and bruises on his face. We brought you that arraignment live at the top of the hour. Yeah, we've learned some new details following Simon's appearance in court. He's facing multiple charges, but the most serious are two counts of manslaughter. Prosecutors laid out the case, saying Simon tried to do a U-turn and was hit by another car. He then fled the scene and eventually is accused of stealing a police cruiser before crashing again. He's now being held without bail and is due back in court in one week. There were dozens of police officers and national grid workers in court for this arraignment. We saw what appeared to be the family of the second victim, Roderick Jackson. He's the national grid worker who was part of a three man crew that was working on a gas line at the time of the crash. We're told the other two workers who were hurt are out of the hospital. Police officer Paul Tracy was working the detail at the time of the crash. He was also hit and killed. Tracy was a 28 year veteran of the department. Boston 25 previously highlighted Officer Tracy when in 2018, while he was on vacation on the Cape with his family, including his two children, he helped save a woman who had overdosed. Officer Tracy is well known in the city and he recently ran for city council. Last night, Waltham's police chief spoke about Officer Tracy, saying his entire department is grieving this tremendous loss. Paul Tracy served this great city with distinction. He was a compassionate police officer that always looked out for the underdog. He was an amazing husband, loving father, and a friend to all, especially the men and women of this police department. Officer Paul Tracy leaves behind a wife who's a school resource officer with the Waltham Police Department. He also leaves behind two children. The chief asked the public to pray for the Tracy family and give them time to grieve. And we're learning more information now about the suspect in this case and his troubled past. Peter Simon was involved in a car crash back in 2009 where he was accused of driving into oncoming traffic and then refusing to pull over for police. His attorney at the time said he had a history of mental illness and might have been suffering from a severe panic attack at the time. A little more than a year later, he was found not guilty by reason of insanity and he was committed at that time. Four years later, he was released from his sentence. Now we are staying on top of this developing story in the hours and days to come. If you are away from your TV, you can get breaking news alerts sent right to your phone from our Boston 25 News app.